Welcome to Argon. I have great fairy magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. Oh, not that position again. God damn it. Ooh, it's green this time. It's green like my hat and my tunic and my clothes and probably my underwear too. But I don't know that because I don't look up in skirt. <laughs> and she gives us Furore's Wind, which is warp magic you can use with C. Warp when you are in danger. Ooh, that's a very useful spell, isn't it? You will teleport to the warp point. That will make traveling across Hyrule feel much easier now, won't it? When you use the warp, again, you can either dispel the warp point you created last time or warp to that point. Fucking phone, shut up. Remember, use the floor's window. Only in dungeons that have a then in dungeon maps, okay? Just a sec, guys. Okay, guys, sorry for that brief interruption, but whatever. Uh, that's probably gonna mess up something in here, but I don't care. It's just another 30 seconds on my clock. So, anyways. Uh. When battles come back to see me. I really don't want to do that. I'll just look. I'll look everywhere for hearts before I ever come anywhere near this place. Because I don't want to see your transvestite self again, or any of your sisters. Your identical twin sisters. Well, I guess I, you're just identical sisters because there's more than two of you. Saying twins would imply that there's just two of you. Oh, stop falling in the water, Link. Damn it. Anyways, that's all we need to do here. For, that's kind of side questy. That's the one thing I was talking about. The important item. But, as you can see, it doesn't make warping across Hyrule feet. I mean, going across Hyrule Field much quicker because you can only use it in dungeons. What a jip. And there's only, like, one real dungeon, maybe two, that you can use it in t to really help you at all. And I will do that, pro I'll probably do that, I'm not sure. So anyways, this is Lord Jabu Jabu. He's the big fish person. <laughs> Except he's not a person. Well, maybe he is. The Zoros are people, apparently. Oh, there's some bolts there. Anyways, what do you do here? Well, there's really, they don't really tell you how to do this, but you need a fish and you want to pour it right in front of his face. And somehow, this tiny-ass little fish is going to appeal to him as a great meal. Hungry, hungry, hippo. Hungry, hungry, hippo. That's always what I thought when I saw his mouth, like a hippo mouth or something. Wait, what are you doing? What are you- Run, Link! Oh my god, no! Oh my god, I'm being sucked into- I just got eaten like a fish. What is this, Pinocchio? Inside Jabu Jabu's belly. What is this? This is one weird place, guys. Oh my god, Octorox. Kill them. Kill them with all you can, Link. Ha, ah, they shot over my head. Silly Octorox. And I killed that one, and now let's kill this one. Yay. What the hell is that? I don't really want to mess with it. It looks like a gas bubble. It's a little jabba jabba burping around and stuff. Anyways, you can shoot that with your bullets. And that will get rid of whatever that, that thing was. What? This is a blockage inside of his throat. This is this cannot be good. What the hell? I, where where the hell are we anyways? This is this is this the next dungeon? What? It oh my! Don't fall down there, Link. That would be bad. That would actually be very very bad. Well, not really. Oh, there's some pots here. Not pots. What the hell am I saying? There are boxes. Well, I guess there's nothing that we can really do except just explore around. I mean. There's really no indication of what we're supposed to be doing in here anyways. Ooh, cutscene. Hmm. Wait a second. Who are you? What? What? What on earth is this? You. Who are you? I am Ruto, princess of the Zoras. What? Are you saying my father asked you to come here to save me? I've n I'd never asked anyone to do such a thing. Letter in a bottle? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, really? Well, then why did that letter have your name on it? Don't tell me it was a forgery. I don't care. What? Anyways, I can't just... I can't go home right now. And you, get out of here. Understand? She turns around. She walks off all daintily. And, oh, she fell into a fucking hole that was right in front of her. She had, like, what, five seconds to react to that and avoid it? But no. What are you doing? Get away. Oh, my God. What the hell is this? I fell down the same hole. 
Oh, what's this? Are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. Well, I don't listen to you because you have big head and I hate you. I'm okay. I've been going inside Lord Jabba Jabba's villa since I was little, but Lord Jabba Jabba is very strange today. You're telling me there's a blockage inside of his freaking throat and it was covered in like ivy or something and I hit him in the tonsil or whatever and he didn't even care. Go home now? No. Talk, let me talk to you. What? Look Look at that on the wall right behind her. There are two gold sculptures right there and I can't do shit about it. That's just mean that they taunt us like that. You're that worried about me? Not really. I just kind of want the spiritual stone, but whatever. Then I will give you the honor of carrying me. However, I won't leave until I find the thing I'm looking for. You better believe me. No, I don't believe you. I, I bet I can force you to leave before I find the you find the thing you're looking for. So basically, you have to haul her on your head, like, all the way around this freaking dungeon. At least for the most part. Oh my god. That's... That was... What? That was stupid. How did a bump... God damn it. How did a bubble drop bullets was what I was about to say. Anyway, so in this room, what you want to do is just go right across here, right across this gap, and throw Rudo not into the wall like that, but you want to throw her up there. Stop making that sound when you hit the wall. That's really annoying. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it is annoying. Uh, what the hell is this? It's a stinger. Destroy it before it flies into you. Well, to first to kill these things, you have to walk over them, and then you need to hit them with two bullets, like that. Get away from me, Bubbles. These aren't even real Bubbles. Well, they, they're more Bubbles than the freaking skulls that are called Bubbles in any other Zelda game. They're, those Bubbles are in this Zelda game too, but we don't see them for another little while. I don't know, have we already seen one? I can't remember. Oh, okay, there's another one here. I just like killing all these guys so they don't get in my way. And that's good. And now, you, before you press that switch that's so obvious right in the middle of the room, you need to hit, you need to kill that gold skulltula so we can, because if you press the switch, the water rises, and you can't kill that gold skulltula. You just have to climb past it, so, and no way to yourself. It's like, oh my god, how did I miss that? And climb up here, and there is really nothing up here. Well, that's a fairy if you want it, but I don't want it, because that makes this game too easy, like I've said a million times before, even though I could have used one at certain points in this game. Why did I do that? I, that was a total accident. Anyways, oh man, what am I supposed to be talking about? I don't know. Well, technically, I'm not supposed to be talking about anything. I could be talking about Chinese terrorists, and I would still be okay because it's a let's play. I can talk about whatever the hell I want. Anyways, you want to head over here now that we've done everything we can in that room, and you want to throw Rudo right into that thing to hit it. You can use also use your slingshot, but I find that's much more effective. Dude, I hit you with my sword. What are you talking about? Get out of here. I said get out of here, you two. Oh my god. Wow. That one knocked me into a bubble and my butt killed it. No, I don't want to kill the princess. Well, I kind of do at the moment because she's just one little bitch. But, whatever. Oh my god, Octorok. Well, that... That didn't make any sense physically, but okay. Anyways, there's a hole down there, as you can see. But And you can swim down into there if you want. But there, on the other side is just a guy selling you bullets, I think, so... I don't really care much for that. Anyway, so now there's this platform that comes down here. And we're going to float all the way to the top. Like a big red balloon inside of his belly. Why is there a floating platform inside this giant fish anyways? And you may notice this room. This is the pretty much the very... Well, yeah, technically it's the second room inside this dungeon. And over here is the room with all the holes in it that Rudo so stupidly fell into. She fell into that one, so we're going to avoid that one at all costs. And go around over here and watch out for this guy. Yeah. Going through this door. And, uh, this dungeon, it was so confusing to me as a kid. I had no idea what to do. Like, I, I was just walking around randomly because I never knew to go into the, that door that was in the whole room. I was kept falling down random holes. What? This switch. It doesn't look like you. Yeah, it's kind of a glitch with the game. She tells you that you can't press it down with your wit alone, even if you have Rudo on your head, which will help you press it down. And that allows us to get past this ivy or whatever and into this other blockage in his system. Uh, how much... Are, these, are, are all of this fish's arteries, like, clogged with random shit? Has he been eating too many Twinkies? Uh, he's... Well, he's probably not eating as many Twinkies as Lord Blubbergut. Well, I guess King Blubbergut. This is, this is Lord Fatass, and the other guy is King Blubbergut. Anyways... 
Let's, let's kill these stingers. Yet you do have to kill all the stingers in the room. This time it's not just for my convenience. Uh, I think there's one more around here, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, it's right there. And this should be the last one. And doing this... Oh shit, I'm almost out of time. Well, I guess that we're going to have to open this chest in the next episode. So thank you all for watching. In this chest, there is a secret surprise for us, but I'm, pro I'm guessing you probably figured... You can probably know what it is by now. Anyways, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.